if you want to work as a 3D artist, you absolutely need a computer that can help you work on your project smoothly. Many 3D artists choose to have laptops due to multiple reasons. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the best mid-range laptops that you can find in the market today at a reasonable price for 3D modeling, animation, or VFX work. Asus ROG Zephyrus G15 this is a fairly competent all-around laptop that can perform nicely in demanding loads and pairs the hardware with the punchy and fast screen. It is a good option for those who want to use it for 3D modeling or animation. And it comes with AMD Ryzen 4800HS, a GeForce RTX 2060, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, one terabyte of solid state drive, and a 15.6 240Hz screen at a price of $1499. This laptop has a really good processor from AMD and it can actually perform better than the Intel i7 9750H which is also a really good processor that comes with a lot of laptops of this year. 16 gigabytes of RAM is going to allow you to do a lot of things and the GeForce RTX 2060 is just amazing for real-time rendering, PBR texturing and GPU rendering. One of the downsides of having this laptop is its build quality because it is mostly plastic which makes it highly prone to showing smudges. Acer Predator Helios 300 this laptop is actually known for being one of the best gaming laptops that is also great for doing 3D modeling, animation and rendering because it has a good balance between CPU, RAM, GPU at a reasonable price. Also it has a solid build. It comes with an Intel i7 9750H, a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti and a 16GB DDR4 RAM. In addition to that it has a 256GB of SSD and it has a 15.6 inch screen at a price of $1599. Some of the downsides of having Acer Predator Helios 300 is the low storage capacity which will run out fast if you are working with large files or if you have a lot of media files. In addition to that, the below average battery life, which means you can't use it for a long period of time, plus it does not have a Thunderbolt 3. Lenovo Legion Y540 this is a slim, lightweight laptop that packs sensible, mature, and stylish design and several configuration options. It comes with the Intel Core i7, 9750H, 16GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD, and the GeForce GTX 1660 Ti at a price of $1149. This laptop can help you do a lot of things whether you are a 3D modeler, an animator or a VFX artist and it is considered a very good laptop when we look at its price. In fact, you don't always find a laptop with these good components at this price. Some of the things worth mentioning are the below average battery life, also Lenovo disables the Intel UHD graphics GPU by default. In addition to that, there is no SD card reader and no Thunderbolt 3. And when it comes to storage capacity, I think it is very low, so you will need to upgrade the SSD as fast as possible. Razer Blade 15 Razer Blade laptops are most popular among gamers, but it can also be good for doing your work as a 3D artist. It comes with an Intel Core i7, 10750H, 6 cores, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, 16GB of RAM, 256GB of SSD, and a 15.6 screen at a price of $1599. So this laptop has the latest 10th generation Intel i7 processors which is perfect for doing a lot of things, especially animation and simulations. And the 1660Ti which is also a good graphics card. One of the problems of having this laptop is the low storage capacity of 256GB. MSI GP65 Leopard This is a good MSI laptop that can help you do your work as a 3D artist. It comes with an Intel i7 10750H processor, an RTX 2060, 16GB of RAM, 512 SSD, and a 15.6 inch screen at a price of $1399. The MSI GP65 Leopard is a good option to consider because it has a good combination of the latest 10th generation Intel i7 processors and the RTX 2060. Overall the MSI GP65 is very good compared to its price. 
I just want to mention that this laptop is actually falsely advertised as being a 15.6 144 hertz laptop but if you're not gonna use it for gaming as well I think you're gonna be just fine Asus ROG Strix G this laptop from Asus can actually be one of the most affordable budget laptops on this list because it has a good balance when it comes to CPU GPU and RAM at a good price it comes with an Intel 6 core i7 9750H processor and a GeForce GTX 1650 16 gigabytes of RAM 512 SSD and a 15.6 inch screen at a price of $1112. This is an overall great laptop especially when considering its price. The display could have been better actually for a ROG laptop but the price and performance will compensate for that. Asus Tough Gaming Laptop. This laptop comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 3558, GeForce RTX 2060, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD and a 15.6 screen at a price of $1,099. Even though this laptop has a good GeForce RTX graphics card and a good RAM, I think that its point of weakness is gonna be the processor. I'm not saying that the processor is not good because you can do your work using it. Generally speaking, it is less capable than the i7 8th or 9th generation processor. But according to the price of this laptop, I think it makes a lot of sense. Dell Alienware M15. This is another popular laptop from Dell that has been around for a while now. It comes with an i7 8750H processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, a 16GB of RAM and 1TB of SDD and a 15.6 inch screen at the price of $1449. Some of the things I did not particularly like about this laptop is the fact that they did not upgrade to the 9th or 10th generation Intel processors and the absence of SSD storage which leads to less speed when launching the operating system. Also when starting software you're gonna be seeing less speed. And overall I think this laptop is a little bit expensive compared to what it offers. HP Omen 15 this is probably one of the best laptops you can buy from HP if you want to work on your 3D projects at a reasonable price. It comes with an Intel Core i7, Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, 16 GB of RAM, 256 GB SSD and a 15.6 inch screen at the price of $1349. Overall, I think that the Omen 15 has a good balance between performance, build quality and price. MSI GS65 Stealth 006 MSI GS65 Stealth is another popular laptop from MSI that you can buy with different components. This one comes with an Intel Core i7, 8750H processor, NVIDIA RTX 2060, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 SSD and a 15.6 inch screen at a price of $1590. I chose the 006 model because I think this is the best one you can get for this price. But compared to the other laptops, it is a little bit expensive. How to choose your laptop? One of the first thing I recommend if you want to buy a laptop for your 3D work as an artist is doing your research because you don't want to make a long term decision on the fly since this is will more likely to backfire if you don't have a good knowledge about the subject. You don't have to be an expert or anything, you just need to have the basic knowledge of how hardware operates to help you do different things as a 3D artist. As we mentioned in the previous video, the most important thing you need to look at is the processor because it is responsible for everything happening inside your machine so it is better to be strong and very capable. The second thing is gonna be the RAM which will allow you to be able to open multiple software at the same time and work smoothly on large scale environments or complex simulations. And of course the graphics card or the GPU is very important for real time texture painting and GPU rendering which is very common these days to achieve better results in a shorter period of time. The storage is also a very important thing to look at even though this is not going to be as important as the three components we talked about. As we have seen on this list, most laptop has SSD drives which is becoming a standard practice especially from now on going forward. I don't recommend buying a laptop with 256GB of storage unless you are willing to upgrade right away because it's gonna be filled real quick if you are doing any serious work. 
the size of the screen is not going to be a problem either because 3D artists usually work with external monitors to do their work. For me personally, I don't even open my laptop. I have two 24 inch MSI monitors that I use all the time instead of using the small 15.6 inch screen I have on my laptop. The build quality is very important because if your laptop is mostly made from plastic it will probably get damaged very fast or if it has some serious points of weakness in the lid it can break if you move a lot or if you are using it excessively. When it comes to the price I recommend paying the most you can afford at the moment because this is an investment in something that will make you better in the future. In addition to that you don't want your machine to be outdated fast due to the fact that laptops are getting better every year. I would say if you buy a mid-range laptop it will get old within three to four years so you want to make sure to stay ahead of the game and have better laptops than most people right now. If you have a desktop PC this is probably not gonna be a problem but if you have a laptop it is hard to upgrade. I hope you found this video useful and informative if you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.